Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Liz of Chicago Law Luxury Makeup. Today we're doing another edition, my empties for the year 2020. Now, as I've stated in my other videos, I collected my empties for a whole entire year. And I have now divided them all up into skincare, hair care, body, and makeup. And so today what we're gonna talk about is hair care. And I wanted to see what do I use, what do I go through, and whether or not I would repurchase any of these items. So we're gonna start out with shampoo and conditioner. So I went through, and I didn't finish all of these in the course of the year. Some of them were opened before 2021. But in 2021, I finished the Purology Hydrate Shampoo and Conditioning Set. So this is the shampoo. The conditioner, I lost the cap or the cap broke. Um, so I went ahead and threw the conditioner away, but um, I didn't keep it. But I did finish both the shampoo and the conditioner. And this is the liter size. I really, really love Purology. I would definitely repurchase Purology. And I still have some Purology that I'm using in my shower right now. So this is the hydrate version, which is for dry color treated hair. That is me. <laughs> um, I've been using Purology for years and I do really like it. So this would definitely be a repurchase. I also have <clears throat> the Purology Hydrate Sheer. So this is, um, again, it's the same thing. It's for dry color treated hair. I'm not exactly sure what the difference is, but I did finish this set as well. And again, I would repurchase. I have these little like deluxe travel sizes of Moroccan oil, extra volume shampoo and conditioner. I really did like both of these and I would repurchase the Moroccan oil, like a full size of these. The Bumble and Bumble Thickening Conditioner. I'm not certain where the shampoo is, so I'm not sure if I still have it left and it's in another travel bag or if I threw it away. But I did really, really like the Bumble and Bumble um, thickening shampoo conditioner, and I would purchase a full size of it. Next is the Oribe Shampoo for Magnific Magnificent Volume. And this is a travel size of the shampoo and conditioner. I really thought that I would love this. And I actually, at one point, did have a full size. Um, but I ended up giving it to someone else. It wasn't my favorite. I really, really love the Oribe Gold Lust, but the Magnificent Volume, I didn't really care for. So I have purchased a full size, but I would not repurchase. And then last is a sample of R & Co that I received. This is the uh, R & Co Television Perfect Hair Shampoo and Conditioner. This was really nice. Um, I would purchase a full size of this. I did really like it, but this was just like a, just a sample. All right. So now we're going to talk about like volumizing styling treatments. Um, and I only finished one brand. I only finished one type. However, I went through four bottles. Um, and this is the Aveda Fomalant. I have been using this for years. I mean, like 20 plus years. This is what I use every day on my hair. Um, I have three backups already in my collection today. Um, I'm currently using one right now. I just love it. I try other products, but I continuously go back to the Aveda. It's very light. I have very, very thin hair. And so I, I it's hard for me to find something that's light enough where it won't weigh my hair down. And this is perfect. This is absolutely perfect for my thin hair. So I highly, highly recommend it. And I have repurchased it. I will repurchase it and I will continue to use it. Last year, I did try out some other products that should be included in my empties in 2022, but I didn't finish any of those in 2021. And now we're gonna move on to, I guess like treatment. I guess it goes along with the styling. This is like styling creams. And these are both from Olaplex. So this is the Olaplex number three, and this is a hair mask, which I absolutely love. And I've already repurchased and have a, um, I have a full one in my shower right now. The next one is Olaplex number six, and this is the Bond Smoother, a leave-in reparative styling cream. It reduces frizz, nourishes, and protects. This is something that I use daily, and I do, I have already repurchased it, and I have another one in my collection. So what I do is I use this daily 
I mix in a few drops of um, the Olaplex number seven, which is the oil, and then I put it on the ends of my hair before I dry it. I really, really love Olaplex. Everything that I've tried from Olaplex, I love. Next is like a spray leave-in conditioner. And the ones that I have here, I have two that I finished, and these are the same. This is the Pureology um, Color Fanatic. I love this product. I don't have another one currently because I've been using the Aura Bay one, but I would repurchase this in a heartbeat. I have purchased this for my stepdaughters. Um, it's just great. It really, really is great. So it says that it is a multitasking hair beautifier for protecting color treated hair. It is a, um, and there's, I feel like there's 21 benefits. Yeah, it protects against color. It's a like leave-in conditioner. It detangles. It moisturizes your hair. Um, it just does everything. It's, it is really, really, really good. And I do really like it. Sample of the Amica Detangling Primer. This one was really nice too, but if I had to choose between this and the Pureology, I would go with the Pureology. Although this was nice and I did finish it. But lastly, we've got dry texturizing sprays. So when I curl my hair, I like to use a dry texturizing spray. And I only have two brands here. And I love them both. So the first one <laughs> is Bumble and Bumble. I have two of the full size. This is the dry texture, dry spun texture spray. And then I dropped one, but I did have two of these like minis. Um, this is a great, great, great dry texture spray. And I absolutely love it. However, I have found that I love the Oribe one slightly more. But they are both great. And if I can't find the Oribe or I don't, am not, I can't get the Oribe, I would get the Bumble and Bumble in a heartbeat. So this is the Oribe dry texture spray. It is so good. So good. Um, I have another one here sitting on my desk. It's, I know, I don't, I don't know how I will ever live without it. It is really, really good. So I have a full size one that I've used and then a little sample one that I got as a free gift that I've also used. All right. So that is it. That's everything that I used up for hair care in 2021. Let me know what you guys think. Have you guys used any of these products? And let me know what your thoughts are. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.